Hey yo, what's coffin? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to the coffin of Andy and Lily or Lele, also known as the coffin of constantly uncomfortable and sick, sadistic, <laughs> and messed up in the head. In the last video, we met Andy and Lele, or Andrew and Ashley, and we found out just how messed up Ashley is. She gets into all kinds of trouble. She messes things up for Andrew all the time. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. But we need the cash and it would be tax free to boot. Say another word and I'll backhand you. Sheesh, learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you honest to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow, okay wife beater. <laughs> okay, yeah, these two are very out of pocket, unhinged. Uh, don't say that, it's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks? Yeah, these two have gone through a lot and they're not okay in the head. An ad for a coffee shop. It is difficult to imagine the aroma of warm cup of a warm cup of coffee with trash rotting right next to you. Potted plant subsists amongst cigarette butts. Yeah, I was told to investigate and click on just about everything. Fuck off from there. <laughs> wow. Because there's optional dialogue as well and there are different paths that I can take for this chapter. So we're gonna we're gonna try to see as much as we can. And then you got run over by a car? Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. <laughs> okay. Wow. I was like, wait, that's that seems very out there. Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out eating out of here once your money runs out. Let's not. Mixed waste. Staff only it says and it's locked. Yeah, so I ended up falling absolutely in love with this game in the first chapter because of just how expressive these two were with their emotions and the dialogue and just how insane the story was gonna get. Ashley seems to be sexually interested in her brother. Andrew doesn't seem to mind because he kind of feeds into it. I was told not to look into the fandom for this game and I had no intentions of doing so. So stay away, I will. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Unemployment office, one bank, minus one clubs, okay. Whatever the hell that means. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? The service here is better than usual. Well, all right then, you piece of shit. Away I go. Everybody in this game is so rude. This isn't the room you're staying at. And thank God for that, a putrid cinch wafts it with from the within. The vending machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. All kinds of waste of money. Can I not waste my money? I want some Doritos, I want some Cheetos, I want some Fritos, some Tostitos. It's a paper from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a waste of money. Jesus. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. The closet is empty, except for... Reclaimed your gun! Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. Cool. Leave it to Andrew to ins- uh, Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds, only to then have a panic attack every other night. Where's the second bed? Oh, right here. There's no pillow. This must be Andrew's bed. I highly doubt that Ashley would let Andrew have all the pillows. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home. 
and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way! Ass? I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow! Whatever, wanker. Yeah, I do remember that these characters are supposed to be British or from the UK of some some kind, which is why they keep using that kind of uh, language. However, I have already given them American accents because I didn't know that they were supposed to be not from the US, I, I guess. I don't know. It's too late to change their accents now. Get over it. <laughs> you throw the laundry in the wash. Cool. Was that it? All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook, and I clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. Hmm, you're not gonna be in the news, Andy. I should have known. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again? Are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Gosh, get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. Do your romanticism! Shove it up your ass! I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving! What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it! Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the, dece of the deceased. This apartment was most def <laughs> most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess. Better burn to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this has happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Ex excuse me, sir. There seems to be something. Something seems to be wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to have mean to say to drink our trusty. Bubbly Popply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass. Unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for some wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was, being the correct tense, indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too, and all that evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it's all, it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. No, no, because I still have the $333.33 that I shared with you. If he was just gonna pretend that the $333.33 didn't exist, I could have kept the $666.66 for myself. <sighs> Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a little bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have some information on the fire. Suit yourself. So, I thought we were supposed to go back to the apartment to... What was it? Uh, Ashley left something 
in the apartment. Was it the... Oh, no, I think it was the gun that she left up here in the motel that we had to retrieve. We got everything from the apartment, I think? As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. I shouldn't have gone in here. Someone has entered the room. Goodbye, go away! What the hell? What's the fuck? Andrew! Wake up! We gotta go! <laughs> get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We've gotta go now! Okay! Don't have to tell me twice. I'm out of here. Speedy Gonzalez. Are you tired of living? In uh, inquiries, the inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you oh god a soft drink ad there are three new and exciting flavors limited time only try them now or miss out forever oh caramelized apple and cinnamon i want to try that we can't afford any nonsense right now oh come on it's just a couple of bucks you can have that or you can have dinner it's up to you Ugh, this sucks it's limited time too yeah, well, right now we don't have time to worry about the limited time because we're we were on limited time. The parking is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. So where the hell am I supposed to go to avoid utter destruction of my life and well-being? So, want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you important too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls in town anytime soon anyway. Wait, what was that? What did she say before he said that? What's stopping you? Ah, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud! Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously, though. I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he went off to? Why, a sex and drug party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is up to. Ugh, fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Oh, shit! I get to play as and Oh, shit! By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I have my lights for, like, their eye color. Like, Andrew's eye color is blue and-, and or, I mean, green, and she's got the pink and, like, uh... Yeah, I, I thought that up just as I was getting ready to- You guys don't care. <laughs> you don't give a shit. Wait! Hold the door, please! Run, sucker, run! The elevator leaves before the third cultist can aboard. <laughs> Curse you, rats! Well, shit. It's asking for a passcode. Oh, passcode is obviously 666. Duh. The elevator arrives. Of course. 
I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Get him! <laughs> huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo, shoo! Sorry, I got lost. Is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There is no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there is no demon sex party. Oh, well, uh, just regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should get inside somehow and find out. And what do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Oh! Oh! Bada ba boom! Alright. The drab set... The drabest... The drabest set of drapier... Drape... Drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. That was a kerfuffle of words that I didn't want to read. There's a crumbled note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Someone has left a note. It reads, To whomever ate my casserole, it will have your head. I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Perfect. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Lower layer only has paper cups. On the cart sits plates full of cake and coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a working meeting. The elevator's coming up. Shit, I gotta hide. Uh, this is going to take two trips. Crumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Grumbling. Not crumbling. Same thing. Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself in the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. Oh. You pull down the curtain. Cool. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Hey! Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is so good! He carts you into the elevator. How is this, how is this cart so much heavier than the other? C could it be? The weight of my sins! No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. D did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Ahem. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now, I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself. Lord Unknown! Oh, this is such fun! Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown! The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's nothing- but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show. Wow, look at this amateur hour. I Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, 
I... I brought the carts down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Oh, shit. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry. This thing has spilled... This thing is... I. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Are you gonna provide me with one? Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. Fuck, do you mean I miss her? It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. He's too busy eating cake to care. Wow, someone is underdressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever, ever drank piss. Drank piss? Well, say something. Sure, let's have a conversation with him. Where did you hear about this gathering in the first place? The Oculate Magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but thought I'd, check, thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? What next time? I thought she didn't... I thought she didn't like it here. Oh, this is a woman. No service right now. What do you gotta say? <laughs> I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. She has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Okay, bye. Farewell then. Arriva Darchi. No, I can't take the elevator. <laughs> hey, didn't we tell you already to, to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get-up! Yeah, you can't come in here just like this. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, er, good! Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Oh, Ashles. I found out some valuable information. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was like a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. <gasps> that's our guy! It, that's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in, our, in my dream! Yikes! He really just went in our room like, just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there! What stuff? We sold most of the junk we were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. <coughs> you know nothing of you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like somehow he tracked us down, so even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Ah, uh, why is he still in there? Why, we're not even there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So he's probably gonna wait. So he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go out, go about this quietly. Um... He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep. Just like in my vision. Again. And you know what? And you know this is how... And you know this how... Oh, sorry. I'm reading too fast again. And you know this how? I know, because that's what I do. Duh. 
Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question not why she thought about such things. Now, enough dilly dally. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot some. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. <sighs> We're gonna go kill him! Can we just take his car? Maybe he left it running. Maybe he left it unlocked. Hitman's car. The car is locked. This is that guy's car, right? Wanna break in? And wake every single person on the premises? Why on earth would you want to do that? Huh. I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, right. Cars have alarms. Ah. Hey, at least I asked before doing it. Absolutely right. My intrusive thoughts would have just been to... Come on, Andrew, let's go. All right, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12! You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. Yes, ma'am. You are Ashley. She is dead. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly, Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about, would you like to save the game? Oh, shit. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna be smart about it. I'm gonna save. Cause I'm a good gamer. Uh, so what all do I need to grab? My laundry for sure. Got washed laundry. I think that's all she really needed. I don't think I need anything in the... Cause we have the gun, right? So if I were, if the hitman was in the closet, do I dare? Cause one of the achievements is to find the hitman. No, because this was Ashley's plan. Ashley's plan was to leave so that we would trick the... I don't know what her plan is. Pulling the door open for me, are you? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Okay. So, now what? Hitman's car. Is, is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner. We can ambush him from. We can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Then let's find a bush. Duh. This is a good spot. Is that not? An attempt or several. An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Cool. What's this random card you're sitting here for? An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. Found a used condom. You choose not to take it with you. So why the hell are we acknowledging it? Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching our, over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a plan. I can't believe I'm actually go hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! Ugh. You're making me do it? Again? Dude, only, dude only has a knife. You got this. Ah, 
I hear footsteps, I think. Ashley, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. You can very well you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's there. Crap! Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to? I bet this is all suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy! No, we can't do it here. Ah! No! 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 Blood relative. Are they? Are they blood related? Like, is this a blood relation thing? Are they like? Because I, I think I can just let it slide just a little bit if they're step siblings. But if this is blood relation, I'm gonna have to call a timeout and like cancel the whole. Just. No. <sighs> T. Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Ashley, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You are Andrew. If it were truly up to me, I'm not looking for her. <laughs> Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. What the fuck do you mean? There are some bugs in the bush, but not much else. Uh, oh god, it's just you. What are you... What are you doing, you absolute? Shh! He didn't find me! Keep looking! Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you, or... Shoot! Shoot! Leave! Nothing. Nothing here. There he is! Shoot! Oh my god. Did... Is he... Is he... Dead? Nice work! As she reclaims her gun. Dude! You emptied the whole thing! I panicked! This thing is useless now! Well, I mean... No one knows it's empty. I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone, or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although, I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah! What the fuck was that? What was what? You're running out of the blue! What? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were look not now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran out to? Huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. But you're bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. <laughs> you are Ashley. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, we have no... Who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Hell yeah. Oh, baby. Leave. Oh, yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ah, motherfucker. For what? My driver's license? Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. A very dead hitman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. What? There is an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your service that we will not be needing any pro 
progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us if anyone were to ask. The less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Can I get in the back seat? I can. Newspaper cutouts of various incidences. Incidents. Most of them are about your old apartment, both that tainted both the tainted water and the fire situation. There's also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words same shit in the corner. Meditate mindlessly. Sits on the top of the car seat. Okay. Well then away we go. Take the car and go. Not yet. I want to check the closet to see if there was anything in there after the hitman went in. Never mind, I can't go back into my apartment. Room, room. So where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's for fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't? But of course, but I sh she can't, but I sure can. Ah, uh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked in they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the parking in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they assume that guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents. Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. Just drive the car, car driver. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you, or do you not, want to go rob our parents? That is a wild sentence. <laughs> I said make me, Andy. I, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah, it is. You just get mad. You just get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. 
But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do, though. When you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andy. Andrew. And so he does. Finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. Petty. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. Interesting. Huh? What? Who's there? Where are you? Where am I? Is this another vision or what? Or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. That's why I jump. Um. Do I take some of these? Or some of these? What the hell? Um, okay. So there's nothing to step on. So what? What do you want me to do now? I thought realistically I would be able to take the pedals and like throw them. I don't have a jump button. Oh, there we go. I thought that those roses looked a little too bright to not be anything. Threw some threw down some red flowers. Perfect. Cool. I just gotta find more flowers then. Ta soul summoned you to catch two men. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you still but you can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Ooh, which way do I go? Oh. So I see those flowers up there in the top right corner. Those are clearly the ones that I need to grab to, uh, make some progress. They're really diving into the puzzle aspect of this game this time. Oh, there we go. Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same. Not for long. Whoop. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. Ah, it's you! I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up? Can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less that the lover spat about the lover spat you're having with your brother and carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You used my gift. What? Was it useful seeing the future? Ah, yes, the trinket that you gave me. Yes, it's very useful. Thank you. Then do you 
want to see the future again. Sure. I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make the deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with the devil. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that's what it is, then... Not yours, Tars, soul. Is that like an insult, or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And why does it... And why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? Don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I have a soul or I have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. <laughs> it probably wasn't right to end... It probably, wasn't the, it probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. I will be... Uh, right. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell to your soul. The entity has left. I just summoned a demon. He wasn't very nice. But he didn't care, cause I offered a soul that he might like. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna kill my parents and offer their souls to a demon. It's gonna be fantastic. What a day I've had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah! The door is decorated with red flowers. Enter. Yes. Oh god damn it. Uh backtrack. There is no returning. No, the other door. Bro, what? I also thought I picked up three flowers. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to step on, you say. Well, how about some red f f f f f f f f flowers? I'm not leaving without that gift, though. Okay, I guess I have to go through this door, but I better be able to come back. There's still more? I thought this would make take me home. Oh, uh, and good God, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. No, the gift. This seems like a really bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway because the game insists. Ah! Ashley? Andy? Is that you? Help! Get me out of this shithole! Come on, wake up! It's not funny! I'm trying, jackass! <coughs> Do something! Help me! Uh. Oh, thank god. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is it? Like, 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. 
You're only being nice because I, you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I, I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that, you're into it, let's go. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down this slope. Right, right, am I gonna get the chance? Come on, we only have so much time until Mom and Dad get back from work. Am I ever gonna have a chance to get back to that? That, that demon scape that I was once in? Because I feel kind of fucked over that I didn't get to get the gift. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of the s of summer season. This is this way is nothing but more parking. Got it. Get it, got it, good done. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place too. What's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplate's on the doors. Did they go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want to find us. Don't want us to find them. Just the feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the home of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Yeah, no wonder they're pretty fucked up. Their last name is Graves. Grayson. Mark? Nolan? Debbie? <laughs> Shitterson. <laughs> Aha! Here we go. I wasn't done reading the last names. D don't just knock! No one comes to the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Your parents trash bin. Your parents trash bin. Um... Ugly Van McHideous. Smiths. Okay. Uh, the window! Oh, never mind. This is the back way. Oh, come on! Look at this place! They've got a garden and everything! Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Yeah, Ashley. Stop being some surprisingly heavy rocks. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Womp womp. Rocks. You check under the flower pot. Got key. Not. There's a fuck all on. There's fuck all under the flower pot. It's so aggressive for like no reason. A stick. A stick. Carrots. Potatoes. Here grow some platable potatoes. Here grow some scrumptious carrots. Here grow some tasty onions. Got a wooden plank. The back door is locked. Nothing's locked if you try hard enough. Place down the wooden plank. Ah, it's still too high! Lift me up! Well? Ah, no good. It's open, but in held in place, but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. Well, I do have the key, so I don't think I really need to... Oh, wait, no, never mind. It lied about the key. Uh, rock. Rocks. I'll push you up after you've opened the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. I... Okay, two things. First of all, no. Secondly, I'd like... Secondly, like I'd need an excuse... Don't feed into this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, these two are... What the fuck? What the fuck? Now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That, my lady, I'll let you find out. Uh, <laughs> oh! God! Fuck! No! Uh. 
Uh, so it's the face. Fine. I'll find something to unhook the, la unhook the latch with. My goodness. This is not okay. Let's see. Let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh, yeah. That would be easier. Ugh, you turn the handle, but no water comes out. Okay. Renovations are afoot. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. So maybe our parents aren't living as nice as we thought. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Huh? Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong! Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes! To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning. Marvelous. Breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd like to use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey. There's something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can't. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. Uh, you find a letter it reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told them you dropped out? I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Jesus. A blessing in disguise is wild. Check in the couch. You know they probably got some cash in the couch. That's a thing, right? There's not much in the fridge right now. Kitchen knives. A cutting board. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. The pot is empty. A coffee machine. The cooking book is mostly, it's mostly broth and stew recipes. Yeah, I don't think our parents are living as lavish as we expected them to be. Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they're somehow managed, yet they somehow managed to board all this stuff and bear, and hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Dirty laundry, right as the top sit. Some sexy lingerie, how uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. The floor drain seems a little clogged, clogged up, but it's not your problem. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Dresser key. Ooh. A metal box full of screwdrivers. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Here be candles. Truly, this is a stellar mop. This mop is a work of art. This mop is incredible! <laughs> okay. Andrew? Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our, represent our representatives will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further as at, our, at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered home. Ah, oh, shit! Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet! It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. Like we'd shoot anyone. Is someone there? <laughs> Hi, mom! It's just us! What the fuck are you doing? 
<clears throat> you don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Eh, you close the closet. Got it. Okay. Welcome home! Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit! Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked? You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. I should have let me- you should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Abort mission! He's putting away groceries. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. A dish rack. Cooking book, uh, you brew some coffee. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? Why do you care? <coughs> well, first we got ex uh, evacuated. After that, they gave us uh, the go around to leave. Or the go-ahead. Since we've been cleared of the parasites, anyway. Uh, interesting. She is not happy about this. She did not want to see these kids at all. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, sure looks like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Or, where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This place needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? Perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events just like on TV. I thought it was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff there. Here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Though, so it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it, I'll make something. You know, you know full well that was that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy! I can't wait to hear how dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us some. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something you smooth. Make something you smooth talker you. All right. Uh, let's check out this cookbook. You browse the book, the cooking book, for some uh, simple recipes. What? I got this. You can do- you can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to, s to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Wow, that's so funny, because chop everything up and boil it in a pot. That's so funny, because those are just the three ingredients that we need right outside. Did you see that purse? 
Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Okay. Okay. So, while we are cooking, can we just, like, snag some stuff? Nope. Mama! Don't you two ever get, get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. <laughs> Is dinner ready yet? No, mama, dinner is not ready. Your life is... It, ah, I messed up the joke. I was going to say your life is ready, but... That would have made more sense if dinner was finished. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished... Languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this, now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be. Got carrots. Got onions. And then the meat should be in the grocery bag that she brought in, right? Got meat. You cut the meat into chopped meat. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Just curious, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyways, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients into the pot and wait. All right, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? Ugh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted to tell, I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But, since you won't let me spell it out for you, we have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance stream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey, kids! It's good to see you! Says Dad with all the enthusiasm of dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without wasting, waiting for an answer. That's wild. Picked up dishes. Picked up dishes. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put, put us on their radar. If anything happens to our parents, who do you think reckon who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I 
fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Wh what? You're all about being so careful! But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Ugh, okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing Happy Family here, it's... It's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your head on... If you... If you keep... Fuck. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agree to behave, and you agreed it's just us. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you get. It... Now, isn't it time for the... Now isn't the time for this, anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money in the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Why does he have his hand in her belt loop? What the hell is happening? Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem! Well, now we really have to kill her. Now we really gotta kill her. It's about to go down. What are you two whispering about? Nothing! Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you're going in- you're- you've gotten any friends you could stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being- oh, despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be... It, and it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after all. After all, our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now. You will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately- What the fuck?! Uh... Sleep now or get out at once! You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, 
not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to compartmentalize. The freezer isn't full of human meat. There's a sever... There's a severe lack of human meat in the freezer. Got a limb. Got a limb. Uh... Got a limb. There's a pan. There's an empty pan. Oh right, Ashley cook already cooked one. What the fuck? It's missing candles. The candle holder is empty. What are you doing here? I actually no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Oh, she's following me around now. Stop following me, you little shit! <laughs> Why, you little? The door has no handle, nor will it budge. Ooh, let me get that. Lily places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You use the lighter to light the candle. Oh. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just leave. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Uh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a lele that doesn't exist. Way to go, loser. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, what on earth have we gotten ourselves into? Got some colored pencils. Can I go visit this demon in the corner here? Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. The trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish, you're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Damn. You have 127 new voicemails. Oh, hell no, you are not listening to that. Why not? Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted, but you'd recognize that voice anywhere. I told you to fuck off. I warned you. Do you think you're all about- you're all that? Do you think you have- you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of floozies just like you. Enjoy what you have because you're well on your way out by now. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. Oh my god, Ashley! And when you get to the and when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. Ha ha ha! I bet you'd be. You'd be so surprised. Fucking die. You worthless piece of shit slut. Go sleep. What is actually wrong with her? And do this and do this time. And this time do it proper. Do you think you're better than me? Just because you can fuck him and I can't. <laughs> She's so messed up! This is not okay! You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Come dumpsters like you are just like that. He will never love you. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. I am everything. I'm the secrets you'll never hear. 
when he lies in bed at night and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he sees. It's me. That's enough of that. Damn, I really wanted to listen to all 127 of those. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? Shit. It's your ex-girlfriend, it's your ex-lover's dormitory room. Man. Julia? You've been quiet all day, what's up? No, it's, it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please don't get mad. When have I ever once ever raised my even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I uh talked to my sister about what you said the other day, and she agrees with me that it maybe it's like maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's just even if it's just for her sake, you know? And maybe for our sake too? I think it's just be nice. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often, and not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry, I I'm not re reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. Oh, I can't make her learn anything. No, but you could like you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if he actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. Are they talking about the girl that we locked in the box? I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Uh, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. N no nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh heck no! You'll pull on it again! <laughs> Aw, oh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? I don't know if I've ever... Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long, I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. You'll never see her again, and the fact that it doesn't really bother you bothers you. Damn. Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Alright, I got your super crayons. Yes, thank you! What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Got candle. Perfect. Lele is focused on drawing. Can I see what she's drawing? I want to know more about this artistic creation that she's got going on. Place a lit place and lit the candle. What the fuck? You killed the ones you killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this was one. Uh, this one always leering. This one was always leering at you. Never mind. This is one. This is one regret. There is one regret. Fuck. You wish you could have killed him slower. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comp comprehend why there hasn't been any mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. This one you had to get before you got- 
before you got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this hire this guy. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach. It's in your stomach, right? And mine? Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Oh, what the hell? Got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn I knoweth not. Verily the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Thee possesseth the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance tis of little coincidence to thee. What the fuck are you saying to me? Place all severed limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Rise and shine, Nina! <laughs> Did you have fun last night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh? Yeah, she's still sleeping. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't! You open the crate. Huh? Oh. Oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did she... What? That can't be right. What is going on? Whatever. If you're too weak that... That you died just like that, and clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh shut up! Just shut up! Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went. She went there on her own anyway. N no, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split and split if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll. It'll start rotting, and and someone will come looking for her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... F fuck! Let's just hide it then. What? Huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know, and they'll throw, and they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the both of us. No, no, you don't fucking. No, you fucking idiot. Excuse me. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out, then you censor. You figure something out, then since you're so smart. Uh, okay. Let's just, uh, like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right, where? Anywhere in the forest should be. Should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Y yeah, there's probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up so in something. Because no one can see us carrying her. This will do. Got a tarp. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Holy shit. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovel-y. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. 
M maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Is this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it! She fits here just fine! I... Okay, fine. You and Lele push the body into the grave. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this. This is obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Got foliage. Got foliage. Got foliage. Got foliage. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's got to be something in there, in here, to hold on, hold them in place. Got a stone. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. It wasn't. I wasn't gonna do it. I was just saying. <sighs> what is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. <coughs> Doing these voices hurts my throat. Oh my goodness. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. L Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Uh, there, there. It'll be okay. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone about all about what you did. Who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read you cra your crappy handwriting. I thought he was gonna say I can't read anyway. Guess you'll just have to find have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because you'll be all around. You'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore, because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> Yo, she is manipulative as fuck. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You have a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. Oh, you had a million things to say you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. Pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can't I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam into the strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything? Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? Oh, he said that. 
you know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't ask. I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream yet. I'm a jackass? Ah, wait, I see how it is. You're so pitting for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet she's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Rude. So this is where we were at even before the quarantine then. Because in my mind, for for some reason, I was thinking like they placed them in this building while they were under quarantine. Like this building was specifically built for those who needed to be placed under quarantine. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't think that this was their home beforehand. You pick a knife from the kitchen, from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. Oh, damn. There's no need to leave the house. Someone is being interviewed on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used to be a surgeon. Isn't that right? That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So trust me, one of one can of Toxy Soda a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> When even a doctor tells me to indulge, how could I not? Ha <laughs> ha! Surely it's only up for from here. What plans do you have for the future? Well, first of all, with such a great demand comes a great need for water. Which is why I've partnered up with several water distribution companies. I hope this is the start of a long lasting friendship where... People on TV ramble on and on. You're relieved there's absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. Of course. Oh, hi, Dad. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no, I'm not jumping. Huh? Right, it's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I- wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Dysfunctional family this one is. I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Great talk, father. You think that cultist guy is living there right now? Or do you think that was like a recent thing? What are you gonna do with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a bloodbath, a blood oath with you, <laughs> bloodbath. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep you up, keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has warmed that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah, gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. 
and thus she forever keeps her mouth shut. And only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah, wait, no! I want a do-over! Too late. I pro a promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair! Aw, oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only one. That's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents? Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now? While they're asleep? We'll settle... Right now. While they're asleep. We'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it in, we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my. My efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp! <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration! God, you're so fucking dumb, I should... Andrew? Are you still awake? Y yeah Why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow! I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. For the love of God, this has better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get that? What's it like? What's it looking like now, Mom? Uh, Ashley, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun, but your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, go get rope or something. I'll, I'm, I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill Dad. You did not need to be told that. Ugh. Damn! She's getting straight to business! Hello, Father. Quite the heavy sleeper, this one. Oop. There's some rope in the closet, among, along with other <laughs> equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else... Ah, shit! Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Er, sorry, I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth is, I want to tie Mom up doesn't sound any better. <laughs> I want to fuck myself? Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check on your mother. Maybe you should go hang yourself with it. Oh my god. I want to fuck myself. <laughs> Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Oh lord. Well, what's going on? 
Andrew, we weren't, weren't you supposed to be? <laughs> He's so casual about it. He's so, oh my God. Weren't you supposed to be masturbating? Just walk down, slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on it, so you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Andrew? I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Andrew! What? I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. Oh, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty-eyed. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, Marshmallow Spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. Beloved, don't test me. Uh, okay, sorry. You get the sense that whatever trust she had in you is quickly eroding. Got Christmas lights. Perfect. I didn't mean to grab that as a way of tying her up, but um, sure. You tied up your mom using the cross of the Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. All right, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the ri- Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is all about? Money? You'd go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin? Where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pen and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on them, on if they behave or not. <sighs> All right, I'll I'll be quick. Jesus! I wish I could go with you, but somehow someone has to keep an eye on these two. Did you find the purse yet? Oh, I already know what it is. Where it is? I stole some money from it earlier. Whoa! What are you doing here? Get back downstairs! They're not gonna try anything! It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so, go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Oh, come on! Come out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Late. Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You are Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to sit, set up the ritual. Or at least what you remembered of it. Let's see, I think it involved blood candles and cannibalism, runes, candles, and blood, music, runes, and a book. Technically, the music was involved, but it was mostly the runes, the candles, and the blood, right? I drew runes on the floor using the warden's blood. I also set up candles. There was a big magic circle around already drawn. I think that was drawn with blood, too. You nod to yourself, confident and pleased with your memory. Yes! Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Uh, knife. Got a knife. Alrighty, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> What are you talking about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Pfft, whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. 
When it comes to being a mother, I'm a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! Ah, uh, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you know any- do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue, let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? It seems like Ashley has more resentment for her mother, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Ah! <laughs> Honey! It's fine, don't worry about me. Oh, it's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Got blood. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like this. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. This is a horrendous circle. Looky ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. Yeah, it's more of an oval. <laughs> the nerve of you, you never. No, no, don't let her get a rise out of you. Candles, candles, candles. I would assume that the candles are upstairs somewhere. Oh, okay. I searched all over the house and didn't check the one place that they could have actually been. All right, that's the, all the candles I had. Welcome back! Andrew, give me a hug! You have a draw- You have a draw limit on your card? I do? You do! I can only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ha, suck it, bitch. Before insufferable, being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all have to get the witness, get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have to, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. Watch your back. She might try to wonk you. You're in luck, as the customer service line is just open for the day. Yet somehow they already had- they, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter million later, a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want to remove the draw line li limit altogether. That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not all that being, I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go, you're gold. Is there something else? Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Grapes. Now it's back to the basement with you. Don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Yeah, yeah, small talk. These nuts. The card should be free now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you set up here. Let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though, I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right here. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them in there drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but, I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's so wishy-washy, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley. You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Save the game.
Mmm, okay. All right, so here's the thing, right? He has it drawn on the floor right there. So we can just send him and then we can use that picture on the floor as a reference, right? I'm gonna say fuck that. Forget it, this jackass doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with that lady from room 302. Never mind, you're right. I should stay. Go get the cash. Alright, good. Here, for the candles. Got the lighter. And the runes? Okay, so the runes are pentagrams. But you have to get- you have to begin drawing them from the- I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time, and everything worked just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here, do what you will. Leave it to me! First, I need some more blood. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you brainwashed Andrew to play along to this. Brainwashed him, my ass? Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. D don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please? <laughs> well, I see where Andrew gets his, like, bend over backwards mentality from. That's probably enough runes. Well, everything is all set except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome, welcome! You're just in time. I'm about to summon. Ahem. Hello? Hello? Mr. and Miss Demon? I'm sorry, I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something. Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Ah! What the fuck is that? I offer those two. The screaming is short lived as the demon seals our souls. Holy shit, that was fast. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why'd I have to play it last time, then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you! What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... But nothing, actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I keep him around. I see. Farewell, Darcel. Until you have another soul to offer. Right. Thank you and bye bye. The entity leaves. I don't know why you keep you. I don't know why I keep you around either. I don't know. What do you keep me around for? I'm certainly not pretty. I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. Let's not. Let's stop this. Let's just cut the games out. If we're joking, not a funny joke. If we're serious. Don't be. I'm just the woman you blame for everything. You can't, you don't have to feel, so you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? Bet if I left you alone with our parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't it be telling that even after I thought it through, I picked you? Andrew picks me one day, then talks someone else, talks to someone else once, and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. Because you give me nothing and then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I I don't know what to say. Well then just think about it. What are we going to do about the bodies? 
It just doesn't seem to. It just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you when you get like this. The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right. The bodies. Uh. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. We didn't kill them. But on the other hand, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right. We can start chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? Oh, that was Ashley saying it. No, Ashley, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I forget. Here, you can have this back. Return the lighter. Ugh. How to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, right, you are. Andrew's untying the parents. But stops. W wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? We take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. In air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be! The cultist died, and the warden too! Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to chop- I just went to town and started chopping. No, 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 please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now. I'm sure he died. Come on now. I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off you must have done the trick. It'll be the same with those two. Get to cutting. Not that. This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though you want to leave them to start. So if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? You get your father, too. Wh what are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again, how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss the sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. All right, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, what? Stop, stop. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross! Oh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Screwdrivers! How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we poured down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Perfect. I know exactly where that is too. I'm going to need a screwdriver, some baking soda, and vinegar. Oh, did the baking soda, I mean, yeah. Baking soda would be upstairs. That's right, that's right. I remember now. How are you guys doing? Is everybody still sane in the brain? You guys still mentally attached? Because I think I'm losing it. You check the top cabinets, got baking soda. Cool. I'm loving this plan more and more on the daily. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in... Baking soda? You pour the baking soda down... You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't seem lessen... doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll bet you some rubber gloves. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I'm but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. 
Fine, just give me gloves. Uh, gloves, gloves, gloves. Where dost thou find gloves? Oh, they're right here. Our rubber gloves. Here you go. Have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain and seemingly never ending amount of good knows what. God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't respond to anything, any, anything to that, whatever. <laughs> good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there is, though, though there being no reaction at all is a lot, is a little worrisome. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents and disembowel them and deca deca decapitate them. <sighs> what fun! Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say no if I did? Of course you can tell me anything. Of course you can tell me anything. Anything I want used, used against me anyway. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. Gave him a little... She gave her... He gave her a little smooch. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues, but continue, continues butchering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. He has become so desensitized to all of this that he is just not even himself anymore. So, what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a pile of organs. Got a head. Got a torso times two. Got all the limbs. This is a lot of limbs. Got a head. Okay! Jesus Christ. I got chopped meat. You skinned the heads. Got face? Skull? What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them into the fireplace. And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. How's that? Good is gone. Great, now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Oh dear god. Oh, I know! Let's turn some of the meat into a soup! Throw in some veggies, throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I know you memorize. I knew you memorized it. You fucking nerd. You're welcome. Okay. So I need to go get stuff from outside again. Somebody's definitely gonna see us over here. Or not. We walk away scot-free from all of this, I'm sure of it. You don't have all the ingredients prepared. What? Oh! Oh! Right, right, right. I was supposed to chop everything. Sploosh! Look at that! Much better than your soup. 
Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? Uh... Oh, the fireplace, the skulls, or whatever. Oh, can we burn their bodies here? It would be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. You place the torso onto the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing's happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. It makes me kind of hungry though. Uh, let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces into the fire for the two. Do you think the soup is ready yet? We're back to our regularly scheduled cannibalism, everybody. Dinner's ready. I'm eating too? Of course, this is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while after all. You're really not gonna have any? I really don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food, there's other food available. Hmm. But I don't want you, but I don't, but don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, uh, hmm, let me think. Munch, 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 munch. Okay, so, humans are the top of the food chain, right? And then, when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of the food chain. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then is this your diet now? Your sacrifice people? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? Uh, you're not getting it. Let me try to explain it again. I don't need to get- I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is something to be a thing. Is this going to be a thing? I'm the only one who's gonna have to sort it out. It's like, if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life, so far. Like, everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'll be all powerful. Does this power leave us as you shit the corpses out? Leave as you shit the- <laughs> No, no, it's just like absorbing nutrients. I get to keep the energy. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be all to be our mother or father in any capacity. Well, those two, if I'm gonna shit out, well, those two, I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. Ha! Huh. Ah, there, finally. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Well, anyway, I think I've dealt with this flesh, with the flesh to be to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. I should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? If that's what you think. Threw away the leftover human soup. You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all these bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bag. Where the hell are the bones? The flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. You put them in one of the plastic bags. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all this cra other crap for? Quiet, you! As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess? You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down. Well, just, just in case. You remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of them. Got a toothless skull. Got a toothless skull. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with the with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. Oh, I think I know. Rocks. Rocks out in the back. Rocks. It all comes full circle. You place them in one of the bags. 
Let me know when you've gotten rid of the teeth. Gotten the teeth and the bones and rocks sorted out. I thought I did. Do I need more rocks? Do I need the rock? You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this all to all your problems. Okay, was that it? Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later soon. Anyway, huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired. So what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their name still being on the door. We can tell some lies. So we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy enough with just each other's? I didn't I didn't imply they fuck they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone is gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their chil and who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new imp and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with, with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. You are Ashley. God damn it. I really thought this. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Uh, whatever. I'm going to need a mop. What about the incredible mop? That's so good. Perfect. Fantastic. Should I put the candles back in the box too? We're turning all the candles into the box. Hey, it looks good as new. It's like nothing ever happened down here. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if we can see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't... Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just... It just said that I needed to hold on to it to have a clairvoyant dream. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then, could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you had a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happened in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. Now I'm definitely not letting you have it. Ugh, fine. Just... No, I read that backwards. Just fine. This was uncalled for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. I have an awful night and terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. 
Well, this looks familiar ish. Is the demon summoning me again? It did say it would. The door is hastily barricaded. Something tells you to leave it be. Damn, this chapter is lengthy. Hello? Someone is at the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Am I on a timer? Got an axe. Chop, chop, chop. Chopped wood doesn't. Does someone live nearby? The demon again can teleport. But then again, does do demons need firewood? Pressing questions right now, but let us not forget you are being pursued. Like the axe is going to help you, any any. God knows what's on the other. What? I don't know why I'm struggling to read. This is actually frustrating. You can't make this jump. Well, shit. What do I do? Road signs get the axe. Got road sign. Oh. 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 That's weird. Kicked road sign down the endless void. Smart. I'm glad I went back to do that. I am a goddamn genius. The best there ever was. Ah, I see. Okay. I'm being pursued again? What the fuck? Wait, what do I do now? Oh, I still have the board. Oh, wait, no, I need to be over here. Um, oh! No! There were more flowers! Well, I don't seem to be on a time limit, though. So I should be fine. My God. <sighs> Tiny tree gets the ax. There's so much going on. What am I dealing with in this kerfuffle? Got white key. flowers that I was supposed to pick oh never mind um, I'm not seeing a black key even though I don't think that I need one I just don't want to miss anything is all ah it's just you it's just you no wait something isn't um, I suppose we can talk things out. There, truce. Come on, Andy. Let's play nice with your sister. Tag. I'm it. You should run. In three, two, one. Running! Running! Wait, no, it's not my fault! This episode is titled... No, wait, wait, wait! Andy and Lele, and no, Andrew, wait! In the final finale, finally, 
No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just leave and forget about all, about all this. Everything will be fine. I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that it's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, no! No, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. Shit, shit. No, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off like that? Why would Andy ever... No, no, he would never. Not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Or Andrew might anyway. It's less... It's less and less... And, it's him less and less and less. Everything okay with you? Oh, uh, I've... Uh, I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? No! <laughs> no, no. It was just a vague nonsense. It was just vague nonsense. Okay. <laughs> hey, Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please. <sighs> what is it? Oh, thank fuck. Nothing, nothing. Never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply, as usual. Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. Okay. Are we taking the purse? I feel like the purse is going to have some valuable information that we can take for ourselves. Or not. You know. Fuck that possibility. the hell <laughs> whoops are you picking them up or what hey now I was the one who packed them in a flimsy bag I said pick them up you dumb bitch what did you just call me now Ashley uh, all right all right damn thank God no one is here at this hour Vroom vroom! Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Uh, what? Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. What about the skulls? Since they're no longer in a bag. Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, Mr. Congratul- Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? What is it? Nothing. So, what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh? Well, this is new. How come? We'll end up doing whatever you want anyway. Why even ask? Are you, uh, mad at me? Nah. What do you want to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. Want to turn ourselves in then? Well, not that. What the hell? So much for my opinion. Not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope. I remember half a minute ago when you said we'd do what, we, what I want. You're really going to treat me this way? After all I've just done for you? So you are mad at me. I fucking knew it. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do and let's go. You were fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday. I had to be, didn't I? You knew I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing for it. That's why you started pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Well, there's neither appearances to keep nor corpses to hide now. Do you want to have another go at it? Well? 
what you want, Andrew. <sighs> I want to lock you in the trunk of a car and drive off the bridge. <laughs> ha ha ha. You think I'm kidding? Ew, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect I give you. I will, right after you love me with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say how exactly is is Say how exactly is irritating me supposed to inspire tenderness? Huh, it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are? You absolute simpleton. I'm so simple. How come you can't If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I'd have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of the stupid. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. He already told you. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. End of episode two! Oh! Yeah! Everybody stretch! Everybody stretch your legs. Woo! I mean, you all had opportunities to pause the video if you ever needed a second to get up and stretch. Me? Me? I've been sitting in this chair for about three hours now. I haven't moved a muscle. Oh, yeah. Want to save the game? Yes, I do. Save game. You can continue here once episode three, DK, has been updated. Woo! All right. So I don't know when episode three is set to come out. I don't know. I haven't started keeping up with the game yet because, you know, I just started playing. I read somewhere that it's supposed to come out sometime in 2024. But then again, we only have about four more months left in the year. So I don't know. I also have a bunch of other things planned for recording between those four months. It could have gotten pushed back to 2025 at some point, like most games this year have been. But whenever it comes out, I'll be ready. I'll be waiting. I'm excited for it. And I hope that you guys are as well, because I don't know where this game is supposed to end. I don't know how they get themselves out of this or what the ending would even look like for a game like this. There doesn't seem to be much of a story, except just don't get caught doing the things that you're doing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that majority of the story leans on, you know, going deeper into the relationship of Andrew and Ashley and who knows maybe at some point we'll find out why ashley is so obsessed with getting in her brother's pants because that that is just not something that i ever thought i would be encountering <laughs> in video game history but here we are so anyways if you want to see my most recent video i'll have that link somewhere around here and if you want to see my last video of the coffin of andrew andy and lele i'll also have that link somewhere around here as well I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big body out. Ashley needs some serious help. <laughs>